Today we're exploring the actual science of muscle tone, what's really going on, and what you can do to make the biggest impact in your own quest for shaping and sculpting up your body. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Muscle tone, we're talking about shape, right? I've got some muscle tone here in my arms and everything. So physiologically, what we're talking about is we got our skin, okay, the surface of, of our body. We have muscle underneath, all right? And in between, we have fat. Now, muscle tone is nothing more than a ratio between fat and muscle. It, this muscle here underneath, this is always going to look exactly like this, no matter what you do in your life. If, if uh, you know, you've got a muscle that looks like that, it's always gonna look exactly like that. You cannot change the shape of a muscle any more than you can, I, I can make this marker just suddenly turn into a dove. <laughs> it is going to be the, the shape it is, and it's always going to be the length it is, the shape it is, the tone it is. For the rest of your life, there's never anything you can do about this. What we're talking about when we mean muscle tone is that the ratio between fat and muscle is such that the general shape of the muscle is uh, seen from the surface of the skin. So let's say you have a, a muscle that's like this, okay, and you got a lot of body fat, so here it's, you hardly see anything, it's just flat, okay? But well, let's say we change this ratio so that your body fat levels go down and very, very lean and you've got your muscle to be a little bit bigger. So suddenly we've got this contour that we can see. This is what muscle tone is. So what we're dealing with, to put it simply, ah, my marker's not working. So muscle tone is a ratio between fat and muscle. How much of each one do you have? It's never about shape or length or sculpting or anything. It's just how much of this versus how much of that. When you have less of this and more of that, you have more muscle tone. When you've got more of that and less of this, you have less muscle tone. It's that simple. So how do we monitor and change these things around? Well, fat is also a ratio. Uh, oops, okay, we got calories going out of your body and calories going in. Okay, so that's what controls how much body fat you have on your, on your body, right there, is the, the balance between the two. So we have a balance between fat and calories, uh, between fat and muscle, we have a balance between calories in and calories out. Now muscle is a balance between, oh, not stress, stress, and recovery, okay? So stress and recovery. Stress is usually, we're thinking things of like exercise, but it doesn't have to be a workout per se. You could be working on a farm, uh, loading bales of hay into a tractor and shoveling ditches or whatever. Just any kind of physiological stress causing the muscles to turn on with some force on a repeated beat. And then of course recovery, sleep, this also is uh, an issue of diet, but also it's just mental, emotional recovery. Just how do you feel? Are you going out and having fun and enjoying life and blowing off stress and so on and so forth? So the reason why I bring this up is what is the thing that is most important to you? Because a lot of times what ends up happening is people get stuck on one of these influences. They think if they have a particular workout, they will have muscle tone. But the thing is the workout is only a piece of building muscle and muscle is only a piece of muscle tone. So you can have the best workout in the world, everything's going great, it's wonderful, but if you're not focused on recovery, you're not looking at what's impacting your fat levels and stuff, it's not gonna do anything for you. Same thing with diet. A lot of people get stuck on that whole myth about results are 80% diet and all that sort of thing. Results are not 80% diet. From, a caloric, you know, from the fat perspective, calories in of what you're eating is only 50%. Calories out is the rest of it. Of course, you may not be doing very much for that. I mean, that includes things like base metabolic rate and actual activity. So it may not be a change you're making, but the fact that you're taking the stairs instead of the elevator, that still counts. That still is very important. Okay? So what is the thing that is holding you personally back? Is your muscle tone not where you want it to be because of too much fat? 
focus here. Maybe not enough muscle. That could be an, another thing. A lot of times people try and get like six pack abs by dieting away. Abs are made in the kitchen and all that nonsense. Sometimes you just need to build some damn abs. <laughs> you're, you're as lean as you're going to get. You gotta build up the muscles like crazy. And this is why a lot of times people, when they're like, I don't wanna build muscle, but I want to build muscle tone. Your only hope is to get like single digit body fat. If, because it's a ratio between these two things. If you're about as lean as you're going to get, you'll never tone up unless you can build some serious muscle. Trying to tone up without building muscle, that's kind of like saying, I want to get a haircut, but I don't want my hair to be shorter, if I had any hair. Or saying, I want to live uh, in a high-rise penthouse, but I want to make sure I'm always on the ground floor. You're, you're creating this conflict. You simply cannot win. So let me know if you have questions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I got more videos on this coming out in the next week. Till then, be fit, live free.